In this video, I'm gonna automate my contract generation so that I can have a PDF ready for my clients, just like this one, generated in 5 seconds. Let's see a demo. I'm gonna fill up a simple form with effective date, client legal name, high level description of my services, click submit, and then I will check my Google Drive. My statement of work was generated. The name of the file, it's the client name. I collected the information from the form and filled it dynamically. For example, date, service, client name. You can imagine, we can fill up all of them. Let's walk through the implementation. I will connect the following moving parts. First one, it's the form itself. In my case, I am using a tally, but we can use any form, Google form, Jot form, any form works. My goal is to generate each contract with the same template, and I am using HTML. I will fill up the variables from the form to my HTML template. Then I will transform this HTML to PDF using an external service. And I will uh, save it to my Google Drive. Let's see the first part, connecting my uh, form to the automation. I will go to Tally. In my workspace, I have uh, this form. And I have to create a new webhook under integrations. If you click connect, you have to enter an endpoint from NA10. If I open the webhook and go under production, I will just copy this uh, URL for post in Tally. This way, whenever somebody submits a form, all the fields are brought here in NA10. Let's see the past execution. We can see we have uh, for each field in the form, we have a label, in this case, the services of my contract and the value itself, which was uh, filled up by, by the person. The other one, it's client name, effective date. Okay, the next node, it's the HTML template. Because remember, my goal is to generate uh, the same format at each uh, execution. To achieve this, I used an HTML template. Inside the template, I have two types of uh, values. I have fixed values, like document, statement of work, the ones which are marked with white, and I have the variables. These ones are picked up from the form itself. In my case, the date, client name, effective date. To convert from HTML to PDF, we are using an external service called Convert API. They have a, an API uh, tool that does exactly this transformation from HTML to PDF. To use this uh, endpoint, we gotta feed it the binary data. That's why first we transform from HTML to binary using a convert to file node from NA10. And using an HTTP request, we can uh, call this endpoint convert API slash HTML to PDF from convert API. And we are ready to upload our file to Google Drive. We can specify exactly which Google Drive folder we want to use. And in my case, the name of the file, which will be my uh, client name. If you want this exact template, you can get it in the first link in the description.